Hey guys, so I know I did not make a turkey video for you, but um, my husband was gracious enough to smoke a turkey for me so I didn't have to do the turkey at all for Thanksgiving. But of course you have leftovers and you want to use up the bones, so I figured we would make a video on using your leftover turkey. So in this video we will make smoked turkey and dumplings. So let's get started. The first step is taking your turkey remains, the turkey carcass, and stuffing it in the crock pot as much as you can till it's all the way filled. And then you'll want to take some water and put it in the crock pot till it's almost all the way filling the crock pot. Um, just leave a little space. And then you'll want to put the lid on and turn your crock pot on low. And I like to cook it overnight so it doesn't take as long. Okay, so now that it has been cooking overnight, you can see that the meat can easily fall off. So you wanna just take them out and just put it on a cutting board to cool down so that you can just take the meat off of the bone easily and you won't burn your hand. Look at all the bones and meat that I got out of the crock pot. And if you can see, there's less liquid in there, which is perfect since we will be adding some cream. At this point, I like to add veggies, and really you can do whatever veggies you have on hand. This is celery that I cut up already. And the bigger crock pot, more veggies you wanna add. These are frozen peas, because I love peas and soup. They taste really good. And then a half of an onion cut up. And now you want to put some carrots in there, and these are chopped carrots also. Now that the bone and the meat has cooled down, you can go ahead and take chunks off and make sure there's no bone in it and put it back into the soup. So if you can see, it has lots of flavor and the soup is going to have amazing flavor. And normally at this time is when I would add a bunch of seasoning, salt and pepper, etc. But my husband made a really good brine for the smoked turkey. So not only does it have the smoked flavor in the soup already, um, it has the spices that were already on the bone and the meat. Um, such as thyme and Cajun and salt and pepper, etc. Um, but if you do not have smoked turkey, um, you can add hickory smoke in here and then you can add whatever seasonings you prefer um, and then it will just taste really great. Now you want to put the lid on and cook it on high. You want to change the temperature to high. Um, and then just cook it until the carrots are slightly and soft. Now all the ingredients have been cooking for an hour on high, and now we are going to make it kind of creamy and like a gravy soup. It's going to be really good. So to do that, so we can thicken the soup, we want to add two tablespoons of cornstarch to the half and half. And this will thicken the soup and make it creamy. So just stir that all together. And if you don't have cornstarch, you can always add flour. Flour also can thicken um, your soup. All right, that's pretty good. And now we will wanna add this to the soup. And of course, if you have a smaller crock pot, you will not add two cups. You'll add about one cup. Um, and then just stir all together. Okay, so then just stir it all together 
and you want to keep cooking this um, until it all kind of is nice and hot together and um, in the meantime you can make your dough for your dumplings. To make the dumplings, it's really easy. It's one cup of flour, if I can get it out, <laughs> and a half a cup of milk, if I do not spill, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then one tablespoon of butter. And this is softened butter, um, but you can melt butter too. And then just stir it all together. And you can double the recipe if you want. Um, if you love lots of dumpling in your soup, I'm not. Uh, I don't like to overtake the soup with dumplings, so I don't. Go ahead and stir your soup. This kind of helps thicken it up even more, just because you're stirring all the ingredients together. And now you are ready to put your dumplings in. All right, so you can just, you can either use a spoon um, and just scoop out your dumplings or you can kind of roll it around and make a little ball and just stick it in. And they will expand. So as I put them in, they sink to the bottom and then float to the top. And then you'll just want to put the lid on and have your dumplings cook in the soup for 15 minutes and then your whole soup is completely done and ready to serve. So as you can see, it is really simple and it is a great recipe to use your turkey leftovers. Um, so let's give it a try. Get a little bit of the dumpling in there, along with the creamy soup. Mmm. Oh, this is so good, guys. It has incredible flavor, and I didn't even use any seasonings. It just was from originally the brine and the bone and everything else. This is so good, guys. You've got to give it a try. Thanks so much, guys, for watching my video. Remember to follow me and to subscribe and to like this video. Thanks guys, bye.